Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert fractions to decimals using a calculator. Now, when converting a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Let's jump into number one, where we have 9 over 16, 9 sixteenths. So we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So plug in 9, the numerator, divided by 16, the denominator. This gives us 0 0.5625. So 5,625 ten thousandths. So let's write this up here, 9 sixteenths equals 0 0.5625. Again, 5,625 ten thousandths. Now another possibility here is to round this to make it shorter. So if we get long decimals or even repeating decimals, we can round. So for example, number one, we can round to the tenths place, hundredths place, whatever place we want to. Let's do tenths and hundredths here. So 9 sixteenths is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, it's not exact. Let's start with the tenths place. We have a five in the tenths with a six in the hundredths. So we round up. Nine sixteenths is approximately six tenths. Now let's round to the hundredths. So nine sixteenths is approximately, well, we have a six in the hundredths with a two in the thousandths. So this rounds to 50, six hundredths. Nine sixteenths is approximately 56 hundredths. So some different options there as far as how we can write this out. Let's move on to number two where we have 30 over 35, 30 thirty fifths. So we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So plug in 30 divided by 35. That gives us zero point eight, five, seven, one, four, two. Those six digits repeat and go on forever in that pattern. Now it can be very hard to tell if a decimal repeats if we have multiple repeating digits and the calculator cuts the decimal off before we can tell if it repeats. This is a good example of this because depending on your calculator, you may not be able to tell if this decimal repeats based on the number of digits shown on your calculator. Now, like I mentioned earlier, what we can do if we have a long decimal or a repeating decimal, we can round. But before we round here, let's write this out as a repeating decimal. 30 over 35, 30 30 fifths equals 0 0.857142. And we can put a bar above those digits to show that they repeat. Now, our other option is to round. So let's do that. And we can round to whatever place we would like. But let's do the tenths and hundredths place again, starting with the tenths place. So we have 30. 30 fifths is approximately, well, we have an eight in the tenths with a five to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds up to nine tenths. So 30 30 fifths is approximately nine tenths. Now let's round to the hundredths. So 30 30 fifths is approximately and then we have a five in the hundredths with a seven to the right in the thousandths. So this rounds up as well. 30 30 fifths is approximately 86 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how to convert a fraction to a decimal using a calculator. Divide the numerator by the denominator. And then if we get a repeating decimal or a long decimal, rounding is always an option. 
I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.